really banging with this candle up in here. Uh, it was really fun doing this makeup look for you guys. I love smoky eyes and I hope you do too. Yes, please hit subscribe and like our video. I'm going to start with my MAC Prep and Prime. It's my holy grail. And use my Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer which is this one over here. What I'm going to do is I'm just making triangles under my eyes right here. Uh, I'm very conscious to not um, extend the triangle into the corners here. So you want the brightening to just be under your eyes, not in the corners there. I'm gonna do some here. Now I have a small forehead, so I go ahead and make sure that I brighten my, almost all of my forehead, because I have a small forehead. If you had a bigger forehead, you would not brighten up all of it that much and then you would add more darker contouring like darker colors onto your forehead down my nose on, around my lips and some over here I'm gonna go ahead and take a blender mine's not the original beauty blender and I'm I got this one for two dollars from um, this website called this app called Mini Deal or something. Um, I'll put that in the link, but um, it has really cool stuff and free shipping in Canada. Which is so spongy, cute. Aww. I think I just kissed my blender. Ooh, I love it. I'm also going to add some of my concealer right on my brow bone right here. I'm gonna use this cleaning foundation and I'm gonna, it's basically like four shades. Oh, it's definitely way darker than my skin. I'm gonna take that and make, um, just put it right under my cheekbone here. Kind of along the cheekbone. You want to make sure that this dark color doesn't get onto your nostrils. Now I'm going to go ahead and blend. I'm just going to add a setting powder onto all the concealing that I have done under my eyes. It's basically called baking. Um, you just put a brightening powder and you let it st sit. Also, what that does is when you put the powder there, if you have any um, fallout from your eye shadow onto your under eye, it's easier to just uh, pick it off or like remove it at the end of your eye look. I got uh, the Makeup Forever HD powder that I got in my kit. Just gives your contour cuts a lot of definition. I'm using Urban Decay's eye primer over here. Okay, I'm gonna start off with this really light shade here. Um, it's a little bit highlighting, but it makes for a really good base. Um, this kind of like patting the color onto your eye or tapping the color onto your eye uh, makes sure that you don't have a lot of fallout and also make sure you get a lot of pigment on transferred onto your eye. If you're noticing that your eyeshadow is patchy, it's probably because you're holding your brush too much in the front. That gives uh, more pressure and it leads to a patchier kind of look. Uh, holding it from the back allows for control, a little, sorry, a little less control and good shading and good blending. I'm going to use um, a similar uh, a shader brush like this. Um, this is just going to allow me to pick up some dark color, but not too much of it because I don't want to end up looking like a raccoon. So I'm going to take a very dark color here. And I'm going to put the dark color on uh, really close to my lash line. I don't 
put the color really close to the inner corner because I want the inner corners to be bright. If you do that, if you take the dark color too much to the inner corner, you could end up looking like a raccoon. Um, and now I'm going to go ahead and get a nice blending brush and I'm going to pick up a color that's going to be my median uh, transfer color and I am going to use so the dark color that I used was called creep and the light color that I used was called virgin and now I'm going to use I'm thinking I'm going to use um, maybe smog yeah I'm gonna use smog now if you want your blending, uh, if you want sharper precision eyeshadow, uh, you could use tape, uh, scotch tape like Sharanthani used in one of our videos. Um, or you could use um, a tube or something, some flat surface like that. And um, you can go ahead and just line it with the natural shape of your eye, lower lash line. And you can go ahead and start blending. And again, I'm using the brush, holding the brush from the back. And I'm just blending the dark color into the crease. Now I'm going to take my shader brush again. And I'm going to add some more dark color into the corners of my eye. And it's the same creep. And then I'm going to go ahead and blend again with the same small color. Now that that's done, I'm going to pick up uh, a lighter color and I'm going to put it in onto my brow bone. This is the color I'm going to use. Um, and it's called Sin. to go ahead and put some dark color right under my lower lash line and a pop of color right in the center here because that's very important for a smoky eye you want uh, the inner corners of your eyes to look bright okay so i'm gonna go ahead and take thin again and i'm gonna go ahead Of my eye. This bright color. I'm going to take um, this color right here. It's called Hustle, right under here. And now that I'm done with the eyeshadow, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to remove the excess setting powder that I had under my eye here. It really helps me remove all the fallout. I'm gonna use my Inglot liner. I use a very easy technique to put eyeliner on. Um, I take my Inglot liner and I use a um, precision angled brush. All I do is I make uh, I use the lower lash line of my eye, and in the same direction, I go ahead and I just flick it out, just like that. So again, I hold it, and then I just. Pull that flick inward. And then depending on how further in you want to take it, it's very easy. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I got my eyeliner. Eyeliner success. I love lining my eye, my inner lash line lower lash line so uh, without tugging it too much again the skin is very um, thin here so you just want to kind of do that and then I want more control over my brush so I'm holding it from the front a little bit and just lining the inner lash line and uh, my classic step here, what I do is I take my mascara and I use bend my brush like that. And this just helps you really bring the lashes out. 
can also wear uh, fake lashes. I don't really wear a lot of fake lashes, but I'm thinking I'm gonna start wearing them for the videos. So I ordered a whole bunch again from that mini, uh, mini website. I ordered like 100 of them. So wait and watch all my videos. I'm gonna have lashes in them. I'm gonna teach you how to put them on too. I use Dipro. I'm going to use uh, Kat Von D's Shade and Light Palette. I'm going to use a multitasking brush. This is a standard uh, powder brush that I got from Sephora. I'm not going to use a very dark color today. I'm just going to use this light shade here. Face definition. Removing the setting powder that I had put here earlier and kind of just blending my contour line there. To my face with my favorite sun pow powder uh, by MAC. I need to go buy a new one of these. If you guys have suggestions on which bronzer I should buy or which bronzer is bronzerella fitting, definitely let me know. I have some blush to my face. This is Tarte blush. It has lots of long staying power. It has a good pop of color and I really apply it very lightly so that I don't get too much onto my face. And I smile a little bit while I do it so I can get it right onto the apples of my cheek. Mm, so amazing. I'm going to use Max Soft and Gentle. And using my fan brush, I'm going to highlight the shit out of my cheeks. Face. Mm. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. There's literally like highlighter dust up in here. Okay. So, oh my gosh. I love the shit. And I'm gonna use another highlighter brush and I'm gonna just highlight my nose and my cupid pole. So I tend to always do a little bit of a nude lip um, when I'm doing smokey eye, but um, you could also use red. I mean, it's Valentine's Day, a lot of girls like to do that. You could do a bold pink color. Literally, I'm addressing to my friend here right now. Her name is Lavisha, and she asked me, what color lips do you wear with smokey eye? Girl, you can wear almost anything. Um, uh, don't wear something too dull. Wear a nice nude that kind of, kind of adds a flush. Um, you could wear reds, um, browns, even pink, whatever you want. That's why we love smoky eye. I'm going to totally moisturize my lips. And then add lip liner. I'm use this nice brown one <laughs> by LA Girl. I know you guys want your lips to look really big and nice. So if you have big lips, ooh, I am so jealous of you. If you don't have big lips and you standard, have standard lips like mine or even thinner, um, it can help you. You want to just overdraw uh, just your lips up here. You don't overdraw the whole thing because if you overdraw the whole thing, you kind of, I don't know, I don't think it's going to look very nice. Um, I feel like it just looks too crazy if you like overdraw the whole thing. I think I learned this from another YouTuber and from Sephora while I was working there. But um, just overdraw right up here on your cupid's bow. Okay. I've overdrawn and now just go with your regular lips. You don't need to overdraw the whole thing, really. All you need to do is overdraw just the cupid's bow and it makes all the difference. Give that swollen look to your lips. 
<laughs> so I fill my whole lip in with the eye pen uh, with the lip pencil because that's just the way I am and I feel like when I do that and when I put lipstick on top of it, it sticks on and stays on very well. So um, this color is actually really nice. I, oh, I could leave this and, and the lip pencil is very creamy. So I mean, even this color looks so nice with this, uh, with the smoky eye, right? And I'm just going to add um, a matte color that I like. It's called Please Me very nude it has like a pink undertone to it and that's the color I want to wear if you don't have oily skin and you want that dewiness to last girl you need to put this on your face this is going to help you have dewy skin you don't even need oily skin for this shit and the makeup stays on so well so go ahead Thank you so much guys for watching Bronzerellas and for watching this Valentine's Day look. I really hope I taught you guys something today and you know what, click subscribe if you haven't yet. We want to have at least 100 subscribers as soon as we can get and you know, we want to try to be able to get to a thousand by maybe June. I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful Valentine's Day and that you enjoy it. So. Thank you so much for watching. Have a blast. Just enjoy Valentine's Day. It's all about loving yourself. It's all about love and, you know, the shebang. I'm going to play my broke. <laughs>